continue to follow that breaking news. One person dead now, at least two others hurt in a crash in West L.A. And Desmond Shaw is going to give us more information. He's overhead in Sky 2. Desmond? Yeah, Pat, Jeff, it's really sad. We saw uh, L.A. City Fire here. They were trying to get somebody out of this smashed up silver Lexus here. You can see the sheet there. They uh, That basically means that the, the person passed away at the scene. We did just see someone be removed, though, from the busted up black car. They were just put in the back of an ambulance. Uh, the ambulance right here, they were at least uh, awake. It looked like they were breathing on their own. So hopefully they're going to be okay. It looked like a teenage boy that was put in the back of that ambulance. going to be whisked away to the hospital shortly. But at least one dead here now on Olympic at Overland and a big investigation. Will definitely be taking place uh, on this one live in Sky 2 overhead. I'm Desmond Shaw. I'm going to give you a warning and let you know right now that this story may boil your blood, and it definitely speaks to why I state authorities treat you not only based on your skin tone but how much money is in your bank account. So let's take a listen as to what happened to 32 year old Monique Munoz. What's up everyone and welcome to Rondell's Unpopular Opinion and welcome to the channel. If this is your first time here, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Now this story was definitely up my alley to cover simply because it was heavily suppressed. And you're going to know why in just a minute. But the audio you heard was breaking local news from CBS in Los Angeles of an accident that took place on February the 17th. And this accident left 32-year-old Monique Munoz deceased and 17-year-old Brendan Curry injured. Now, what caused this accident to occur in the first place? Well, Brendan was involved in a high-speed chase in his Lamborghini vehicle racing down an LA road at over a hundred plus miles an hour when he struck and killed Monique as she was headed home from work. What makes this story even crazier is that Brandon did not possess a license to drive and his father is a millionaire mogul named James Curry. The vehicle was purchased by James and gifted to Brandon for his birthday last year and Brenda's mother refused this gift back when it was given to their son, calling it an accident waiting to happen, and she was right. Monique's family is sure that due to James's money and upper echelon status, Monique's untimely demise was definitely covered up, and Brandon was not arrested nor charged after this incident. And even up to four days ago, James, his father, has been posting and carrying on with life, posting on Instagram like nothing happened. Knowing his son took this woman's life senselessly. However, thank God for the power of social media and the power of the people because Monique's story began going viral all over the internet from IG blogs to TikTok polls created to spread awareness as to what exactly happened to Monique. And her family who happens to be Latino believes if her killer was brown and did not have money nor connections, the outcome of this case would have been very, very different. Now, y'all know how social media gives it up and the court of public opinion along with law enforcement have begun doing their digging and found that racing cars seems to be a thing of the norm with the Curries based on their social media posts from Twitter to IG. And it is not far-fetched for the father and son duo to take these fast cars out for a race. However, James Curry denies this and stated that the allegation that there was racing going on at the time of Monique's passing is simply false. Now, whether or not Brendan was actually racing another Lamborghini or another car is honestly, in my opinion, not even relevant. What is relevant though, is that news finally broke today that over two and a half weeks later, Brendan Curry has finally been arrested as of today, March 10th and charged with manslaughter. The Curry family and friends have been speaking to press and stated that Brendan is beyond remorseful and cries every day. And he's been in the hospital since the day of the accident with a brain injury, petrified. And of course, his father has worked out a financial deal to utilize his wealth built from the e-commerce industry to compensate for his son's reckless behavior. 
But also, James had the audacity to post family photos on social media since the demise of Monique at the hands of his own son, y'all. And today, he posted yet again. However, his energy was real different, stating, I am aware that the time it has taken me to communicate this has caused further pain for everyone affected. Knowing that this will never do justice for the family of Monique Munoz, I wanted to apologize to the Munoz family for the tragic loss of their daughter. There are no words I can say to alleviate the pain that you are experiencing, and I realize none of my words or actions will be able to bring back your daughter. Still, I want to offer my support in any way you will allow me to. My family and I pray for the Munoz family. And in my honest opinion, the Curry family is full of shit. The apologies via social media, in my opinion, are just definitely very disingenuous. And let's be clear, y'all. The police did not move in on Brendan or Brendan, however you pronounce his name, which I really don't give two shits because he's white and privileged. And had this have been a black teen or Latino teen boy who was from South Central LA, the narrative definitely would have been completely different. We already know from many other cases of how corrupt the legal system is in the state of California, especially in LA, which is not a shock as to why the LA District Attorney Gaskin has not filed charges in this case. Monique's family is of course devastated and asks for their loved one's story to be heard via the hashtag justice for Monique Munoz. Brendan Curry though definitely needs to be held accountable because the system is quick to hold our young black boys accountable especially as adults with little to no evidence whatsoever. So in my opinion I say definitely make an example out of this one but that's all i have for this one y'all i will continue to follow this case to see it through to see if the feds are gonna indict this boy and lock his ass up thank you guys so much for tuning into this video make sure you share this video to not only get it out into the youtube algorithm but to also spread awareness for the story because i guarantee you due to the people who are involved it is definitely going to stay suppressed y'all have a good one y'all take care and y'all be well peace